this week. What are we doing? We're talking about understudies. Uh, my Broadway debut was as an understudy. I was a vacation swing for Spelling Bee, and without any put-ins, I went on for Schwartzy in the afternoon, and then Olive um, at at the evening show f on a Sunday, and it was the scariest, but also one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, really hard, <laughs> but also super rewarding. So I have a lot of love and respect for understudies. We've got some awesome understudies here at Tootsie, and we had a put-in for them this week uh, for a bunch of them. So you're going to see some footage from that put-in, and you're also going to hear some of the cast talking about their experiences um, as understudies in other shows. So enjoy! Hi, I'm Brittany Coleman, and I am Lily Cooper's understudy. Woohoo! Ah! Check this lady out! And where are we today? We are at the put in of all put ins today. We have <laughs> everyone who's Tony nominated, all of their covers are on today. So we have a lot, which is amazing. Hi, y'all. I'm Leslie Flessner. I am a Sandy understudy, and so today we're having a put-in, and I'm playing Sandy, so I'm in costume and hair and doing all the things. Yay! Yay! Are you having fun? Yeah, it's so fun. It's She's a little stressful, but it's also fun. It's good to like get it all out there. Just getting Jeff back into costume. Here we go. Understudy. Right um, there. We're watching the understudies go on for their put-in, and they are so freaking great. <laughs> I'm I'm leaving Equity. Great. Actually, I'm leaving equity because they're so superb. <laughs> they're fantastic. Michael, you know, you've been in this whole shot, so uh, now you have to I say agree something. With Julie, I agree with everything Julie said, uh, I, and I'm leaving SAG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Reg. Reg, you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to say how much I'm going to miss Michael and, 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 and Julie <laughs> now that they're out of the union. I want to talk to you because you cover Santino. I do. And that is a lot of stuff. It's, um,. Yeah, it's a stupid amount of work that he has to do every night, and I'm really glad that uh, he does it every night, and I just watch. <laughs> what um, what do you did your put in today? How did that uh, go? Yeah, the put in went really well. I made all the costume changes, which was the thing I was the most worried about, uh -huh. and taking the nails off in that scene with you. Oh yeah. That I was most concerned about that, and I got the nails off. Oh yes. Hi Sarah. Hi. You were just talking about your experience playing two roles at one time. I was in the in the put in. Was it crazy doing both roles? Yes, it was it. And at one point, I started going into a quick change for a character that I wasn't. <laughs> because I forgot who I was, literally who I was. I was both the understudy and the standby for Alphaba in Wicked. And um, when I was on tour, I was the understudy, and I only went on twice in an entire year. And then when I was on Broadway, I was the standby, and which means like you can go on at any time, at any moment, literally. Ten minutes into the show, I hear an announcement from the stage manager: "Lily Cooper, please report to, report to the Alpha Room." Lily Cooper, please report to the Alpha Room. <laughs> and I was just like, "What? The f what's happening? Oh my gosh!" And so I go downstairs. They slap on green makeup <laughs> in literally. Five minutes. Oh my god. I find out the actress that's playing Alphaba got sick. She was like puking, poor <gasps> thing. She was like trying to survive for as long as she could on stage. We, I get into costume as quick as possible. I go down into the wing. I see her on stage. We like lock eyes. You see this like look of gratitude because she just like has to run off stage and puke. Oh my we, god. She leaves. We literally high five and I walk on stage and I'm in the show halfway through act one. The greatest part is I'm about four inches taller than her. So like the first maybe three, five rows were like, who is this green person? Is there, are there two? What's happening? But like, of course, everybody else is just like, oh, she's green, it's the same one. Oh when I had my to God. The show, it was wild. Wait, was, was that the first most... time that you went on there? No, thank God. Thank I God, yeah. Times, but it was the first time that I went on mid-show and that was pretty wild. Oh yeah. my God, that's a great I story. I'll never forget it, the adrenaline was pumping. Since we're doing this show, yeah. I have both of my stories include the creatives from the show, like Scott. Scott Ellis, because I did on the 20th century. Uh huh. Thank you. Very Thank you. supportive. With Very King, supportive. I was playing Max Jacobs. I was covering Oscar Jaffe, being played by the lovely Peter Gallagher. Uh huh. And on the sixth preview, he had a horrible science infection, and he did a matinee on a Saturday. Uh, he took a nap, and at half hour, he woke up and. I had no voice. Oh, brutal. So Angie Cantor, the uh, um, 
Associate choreographer came to the dressing room at 15 and said, Jim Moy, can you get your script down to the stage management office? I go down to Scott Rollison, our stage manager here, and I said, uh, what's up? And he said, how well do you know the show? Because we haven't had any other stage rehearsal. And Oscar Jaffe's kind of like playing Dorothy Michaels, about eight songs, oh, monologue after monologue after monologue. After monologue. I'm, like, I'm like, I like, can, I can do it, um, but uh, there's a lot of things I haven't seen since rehearsal and stuff, because we were doing the show, we were in previews. And uh, at that point, Scott Ellis came in and was like, your understudy doesn't have costumes. Chris and Chenoweth uh, is in the show, and she's got a lot of lifts and stuff we got to do. If she gets hurt, we're you know we're done for. We're gonna have a put in for you. This is literally like at places. Oh my god! And so they go and they, they cancel the show and have a put in for me that night. Well, they also did a little mini Chris and Chenoweth concert. That's right. To like appease the audience that was already sitting in their seats. It was like eight fifteen at this. Oh point my they god! The show, full house. Yes. So she just went out and she sang went out a bunch and of sang things. like three songs, and then they made the porters tap dance. Yeah, oh my right. god! So and then I went on for fourteen of the next fifteen shows. My job was at Kristen Chenoweth in On the 20th Century. Wow. So, so what? Well, so did it become like awesome by it the end? Like you, awesome. The first, the, the next show actually went really well, but yeah. it was it was terrifying. Yeah. Um. But then yes, by then it felt like I was doing the show because I was yeah. doing it night after night after night and playing opposite Kristen. And did you feel like you were finding your own choices <laughs> and do really like living nothing, in it? Yes, and I have nothing but glorious things to say about Kristen Chenoweth because she said to me she was like. Don't you worry about Pete's show, because what you're doing and what we're doing is we're finding our own things, and we had our own show, and so it was really fantastic. Oh, she that's very, so very great. Generous. How the, awesome. The funny story I was going to tell you <laughs> yeah, is tell David cool. Yazbek from the, the Full Monty. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is what we do. Whenever we mention the show, we, we give our resume, we, we applaud. Wait, is that real? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're great here. I love you guys so much. Yeah. Sarah, he's a... He's a star. Yeah. He is a star. Yeah, he's, he's a, a star. Circuit. That's mighty real. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come but, on. But I'm in Forget the, it. I'm in Forget the, I'm in, I did the tour of Full Monty, and then I had, had left the tour, and I was vacation swinging for the Broadway show. I was uh -huh. getting ready to go in on a Sunday, and I got a call Saturday night from the stage manager saying, how would you know the role of Malcolm? Because I was a Jerry cover. And I said I'd had a, a, a rehearsal for it in July. This was January. Oh my and so, God. and so everybody was sick. Everybody, they were like, "Do you think you could come in tomorrow and meet with Dennis Jones, our choreographer for this show, who was yeah. a dance captain for for, for uh, Full Monty?" And do you think you could do it? And I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll come in and do it." So I spent that night at home singing Malcolm, working Malcolm, eight o'clock till like two o'clock in the morning, learning it because I hadn't had a rehearsal for for six months for that part. I go in the next day. It all is going really, really well until the second act. There's a scene where everybody's in their underwear in Harold's house, and the one thing that we hadn't really planned out was all the all the, the costume fitting sort of situation. Mm -hmm. And so we're all in our underwear, and I'm looking around the stage, and Will Chase and Danny Sherman, and Steven Skybell, and Larry Marshall, and Christy Metapolis are all dying laughing, and I have I have lines to say, and I'm like. Freaking out! I'm like, what's going on? Is are something hanging out? What's what's happening? I don't know what's going on. They they literally can't look at me. That I have seen work to do with them, and they will not look me in the eye. And I'm just getting pissed off. <laughs> and finally, the scene's over. And I go off stage and like, what is up? This is my first show on. It's actually my Broadway principal debut. Thank you very much. Oh and, good. And, and so, oh yeah 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay okay. And and I'm like, what's going on? And Danny Sherman's like, y your underwear is too loose. It looked like you grabbed your pants. <laughs> Because the microphone, the, the waistband was a little loose, and so the microphone was hanging down in the back, and so I was getting crack, and it looked like I crapped my Crying pants, and I had no idea that was going on for also, about a five, ten minutes. Scene. Also, so the show had been open for a while at oh, this yeah. point. So everybody was probably just loving that oh, that were, they were just punchy it. as hell. They were loving it, yes. They, 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 were, they were laughing really, 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 really hard. Now, I did was, you laugh when you found that out? Yes, okay. yes. I was, Just because you're a good sport. Yes, yes. So those are my two crazy stories. Those are great stories. And that's like ten minutes worth of uh, Yeah, time. I don't think we need to interview anyone else. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Or upsetting. I'm going for a part, you know, there's no way that you're getting Okay, faster. So anyway, I'm heading. Downtown to the audition. Where everybody I'm dreading will be coming to fruition. And here's what's gonna happen. I will walk in with get hunger. And there's a dozen girls who love me pretend you're singing. I'll go to the bathroom and I'll try to book up. Faster! I'll be singing bing a ming a ming a ming a ming. Here you said you said you're gonna really blow. I said don't you slam and then someone calls my name here. I walk into the room. The girls are singing mighty as a pretty as a tune. And everybody smiles. They'll say it's good to see ya. But I'll say it's judges all like you. And then a little banter and they'll look maven down. That's sort of the fuck of insecurity and hate I'll try to convince them that I'm charming and I'm clever and I'm not never But I'm starting to unravel in my head here. They got you guys rock! Uh, Isn't it horrible? They don't have to understand <laughs> the words, right? They don't have to understand it. They just, yeah, no, they don't. Don't worry like about it. Yeah, yeah, it's just right. just as long as you like make as many faces and body contortions as possible. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna be good. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah.